Hi, it's Carrie. I have a cold, yes. I have just watched a Nerdy Crafter video um, about Instagram tutorials and one of them that she did was actually a Sophie and Toffee tutorial based on the craft supply box that she gets. I realised that I have a lot of those supplies under different brands so I came up with something slightly different and basically I'm going to try and make a mini crystal ball and when I say mini I mean itsy bitsy and can go on a necklace so let's get into it I've been on a bit of a wish shopping spree over the last couple of months as I'm sure you know it takes a very long time for things to arrive so I have gotten some UV resin which arrived significantly after the rest of the items so I know that this one must be my UV torch I've not opened it yet so I'll do that in a second and this one is well is nail art powder but now then I'll see if I can open it <laughs> I know that it can be used for resin dyeing as well because it's the same ingredients as um, Perlex powders and mica powders, that sort of thing. My powders sealed themselves back up so well that I had to open them off screen. So this is what it looks like on one side and then the other side there's the variety of colours. I did also open up my torch, I'm still assuming it's my torch because it's in this cardboard box, classic Wish packaging, so just trying to open it. So what Jackie Nerdy Crafter did was take the mould she was going to be using, in my case it is spheres, in hers I believe it was Harry Potter ones, and to start with choose what colours are going to be on the outside. Now if I'm going to do something mystical I think I'll go with purple and silver and using a paintbrush just brush them on the inside of the mould. Now that will be slightly difficult for me because these are spheres but I guess we'll see how it works out. Now that I've taken them out of the box and I've had a closer look at them without the really dusty tops, like these are actually even the orange, these are all really pretty colours. But like I said, I will be using the silvery pearly one and the purple. Depending on how it turns out. Ah no, you know what? I'm also going to use the blue and the silver silver. I want to try and get as much powder as possible off of the lid so I don't spill any. Ooh dear. Oh no, I'm going to spill some, I know I am. Wow, these are so tightly sealed. Ah ha 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 ha! Or not, I was just holding both sides at once apparently. There we go. The lid's a lot smaller than I thought. So. Powder on the brush. Let's try and turn this inside out a bit so that I can actually get some powder in here. Just sort of swirl it around, I guess. That's about all I can do with that one. Let's add some purple. Yeah, the, the lids are a lot easier to open when you know how tiny they are. Right. Bit of purple. I suppose I am technically cross contaminating these, but I'm not entirely sure how else to do this. Uh, oops. That's 
flicked up all over my shirt. Supposed to be swirly but it looks kind of blotchy. I'll see if I can make it swirly. Maybe it'll have an interesting effect. Okay, that one I just sort of swiped around in circles as I'm sure you saw. So hopefully this one will be a bit different. Now, coloured resin was used by Nerdy Crafter for this one. I only have either two part resin or this one UV resin that I showed you just now. So I don't actually have any way of colouring it because even though I do have ways of mixing the two part resin I'm not very good with it at the moment so I'm going to stick with something as simple as I possibly can and just put in whatever resin comes out of this UV bottle I'm hoping it's clear because that is what I ordered and being UV resin it is of course in black plastic so that it doesn't cure on the way to you. Let's open it up. Oh, it is clear. It is clear. I'm not going to fill it right the way to the top so that when I do have it at the top, I can put an eye pin in it so that it can turn into, well, an earring, a necklace, something along those lines. It has occurred to me that this might work better with moulds that are larger and more easily accessible with a brush, so I'm going to use all of these colours to try and create some sort of galaxy in here and um, see what I decide to do with my ring mould. I believe this is, yeah, this is my thumb ring mould. Well, there is still some Vaseline residue in here from when I last used it, so this might help the colour to stick onto the resin. We'll see. We'll see. not filling this one all the way as I don't really want it to be that thick. There are a few bubbles in it so I'm just going to pop those. I'm just going to wipe the resin off of here because I don't want it becoming a larger dotting tool than it already is. So I do have the ability to put some into a ring, but I'm not going to do that right now. I want to see how these turn out first. This is going to be interesting. What I will do is I will leave them on the windowsill to harden as they are for now. And when I get some AAA batteries for my little torch, which I currently can't quite put back together, I will put eye pins in them so that they can be turned into different things. I will see you when these layers have already hardened. I think I'm actually going to add a little bit more of the powder just to see what happens there. But these ones, these ones are hardened now and uh, let's try and demold them.
it actually reacts really nicely like the pigment looks really nice in the uv light You can unfortunately see where the second resin pour was made and I'm not convinced that the top is entirely hard now having moved it around like that but I can rectify that with this. I did have it under the light for 40 seconds which is normally more than recommended but both the resin and the UV torch were free off of Wish, so I wouldn't be surprised if the quality is a little bit off. Still slightly sticky, but generally much better. Also, uh, it, I really do like the effect that this has gotten. I think that it would have been better with a coloured resin. But I don't have any resin dyes, these are the only things that I could use to colour the resin and I'm not sure how well that would go. Though it is the same sort of thing, it, again these are from Wish. Just don't know how things are going to react. Seeing as that one wasn't as hard as expected I will have the UV on this one a bit longer. Come on, come on, gotcha! Ooh, I think this one's even prettier. Look at that. There are, ah, okay so these bits here where there aren't any specks of the powder Turns out that uh, it's still inside the mould, so that might be to do with it not having hardened entirely. While they're not sticky, um, ah, this one is a little bit sticky on the top, but uh, generally. They're not bad, and I think they look quite pretty as well. So, with those done, let's unmould this one. Now, I did put a little glob here to secure the eye pin in place, which is slightly sticky still. The top is a bit sticky. The bottom of this is so warm, but that's to be expected when it comes to resin, it cures and causes heat. Okay, okay. Oh, it's sticky on the bottom. Could be to do with the Vaseline. I mean, it's not the ugliest thing in the world. Admittedly, the back looks prettier. Yeah, it probably is to do with the Vaseline, look at that. I should have cleaned this up a little bit better. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna clean this up. I have some cheap and nasty loo roll that we only use for things like this. And a little bit of water left over from when I was doing some watercolour, which I really shouldn't use for this considering it's got watercolour pigment on one side but I'll just ignore that side and use the other because I'm lazy. Ah uh, regrets. Regrets. Hmm. I'm gonna try and shine the light on it. See if it'll make any difference. It has made it a bit less sticky. That's good. Not on the sides, but I can remedy that. It is less sticky, but I have realised that the reason my other resin pieces 
that I did a video on before are a bit sticky is because the Vaseline was a very dumb idea. I'm gonna have to wash these out. Now that I can talk better, mildly better, yeah, I need to wash out all the ones with Vaseline in them. And these worked better because they didn't have Vaseline in them. Because how the heck would I get it in there in the first place? Just going to try and harden off the top of this one again. But uh, in general, I'd say that this is actually really good. I'm going to be using this in the future. Okay, with lessons learned, I am going to be trying to make myself a pretty little thumb ring. I do like the blue and the purple and I also like what the pearly white has done but I think that I will try and colour the resin to make it look like a galaxy kind of thing and it'll be easier to try that with the ring because it'll be using less resin or at least I hope that is what's going to make it easier we'll see oh. Still slightly powdery brush. Okay. This is the glass I used for my previous resin project. It's ruined, as you would expect. And it's actually slightly sticky on the inside, so um, I am going to coat it in tin foil and mix it in there. I'll try and show you what I'm doing, but it'll probably be a bit shaky because my hand will be above. Well, you're not going to be resting on something solid. Okay, just a little bit of resin, although it is better to put in too much than too little so come on there we go I've got in the amount that I was hoping for let's mix it up ooh it's shiny I'm a bit of a magpie I do like shiny things shiny it's so pretty. Well, then the advantage of having mixed this in tin foil is that I can now shape the foil into a sort of pourer and pour it into the mold. Or at least that's what I'm hoping for. I don't think you can see the shine as well on the camera as I can. It's possibly something to do with the. Uh, Tin foil. I have my makeshift pourer. Let's see how well it works. back it's been a few days my cold is getting much better and I believe the ring is set so I'm just gonna pop it out off camera and I'll come back to you in just a moment so it turns out that the ring was not set underneath the top was though so uh, that's kind of nice but it's extremely sticky and basically I'm I'm just generally regretting my idea of stepping into resin because it's um clearly not working <laughs> and this piece that I did the big one yes it looks great from the back but the front's all misty it's all dried up now but 
if you're going to be doing anything with resin, don't add Vaseline. Learn from my mistakes, people. Don't add Vaseline. If you're going to be doing something that requires UV resin, um, UV setting, then don't use black resin where the UV can't completely tr penetrate. Don't add the colour to the resin itself. You're better off putting it on the mould, which is what I did originally. If you're going to colour your resin, use actual resin dyes rather than the... Um, rather than the mica powders, which are more for the outside because you'll end up in a sticky mess and you'll regret what you've done, but um, at least we've learnt something here. So I hope that you've managed to take something away from this other than my stupidity and I will see you guys soon. Just as a quick side note, I know I've already said goodbye, but I just, um, I just washed my hands. There's still a little bit of the stuff underneath a couple of my nails. And I washed my hands so many times with regular soap. I had to give up. I have moved on to dishwashing soap. I don't recommend getting resin on your hands. It won't end well. Like I said, I hope you get something out of this other than my stupidity. I hope you have a great week. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Oh, someone out there likes me. Someone just beat the horn. <laughs>